Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Gemini? Are you guys ready for summer? Let's see what's unfolding for you guys for this month of June, 2021. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, Take a seat, relax, let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. Exciting new beginnings. All right, let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Wands. So off the bat, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a lot of competition around you, Gemini. This could be in the workplace. This could be family, relatives, people around you. Um, you could be stuck in a situation where you feel like you are not able to fully express or fully communicate uh, what you're thinking. It's almost like I'm hearing almost like having to the need of having to watch your back. So I feel that those around you, you may feel a little bit um, like you're holding back. And I and I feel that the reason why you're doing it is because you are trying to get some type of clarity, some type of understanding in regards to things that are happening behind the scenes. Now, your next card here is the world card with the four of swords and the star card. So what they're telling you here, um, Gemini, it's important for you to... Um, be patient in this process. Uh, I see almost like a, a lot of noise, a lot of people being around you, communicating. This could be rumors. This could be gossip or dealing with that. And there is like this fine attunement of being pulled towards the opposite of that energy. So this could be you seeking some type of solitude or trying to keep yourself away from this drama. But at the same time, there is a need or a want to get some type of clarity. So I feel that for some of you guys, it could be confusion in regards to family dealings, um, family uh, dynamic. For others of you, it could represent um, almost, I, I keep hearing again, like there is a need for you to, it's like walking in eggshells because you're constantly feeling like you have to be watching your back. And it gives me almost like this feeling of those that are around you. Um, here's the thing, though, with the world card and the star card, I do see illumination. Um, this is you growing. This is you taking it to the next level. So whether it's in career, finances, um, achieving goals and aspirations that you've been wanting to make happen or you've been working deliberately very hard to achieve those goals, uh, you will be seeing those manifestations and that's if you are not already seeing those manifestations and I feel that because of this energy there may be people around you that are ill intended or people that you know come off as friends or portray, portray themselves like wanting the best for you but it's almost like that saying of people wanting you to do good but they never want you to do better than them and that's the type of energy that I'm sensing here. So my advice is keep yourself away from drama. Uh, those that come rushing to you to give you any type of gossip or any type of um, information that could be misconstrued or information that is deliberately, you know, um, being communicated to you in order to manipulate certain type of situations. What they're telling you is rise above that Um you know question why are those people coming to you and and giving you this information or why are they um so adamant about showing you someone else's true colors just think about that for a bit because there's it's almost like they're doing it on purpose and there is a reason behind it and the truth of the matter is there is competition around you so again i feel that for this month you're going to be dealing with a lot of situations or um, a lot of circumstances that are kind of making you question or making you question or doubt uh, people's true intentions towards you. And what they're telling you here is don't necessarily, you know, don't necessarily block yourself in the sense of 
uh, being like vibrating from a fear type of energy, let things unfold the way they're supposed to. Take a step back, um, even if you have to not be as social or, you know, pull your energy back is what they're saying here. And you're going to start to see things unfold. And this is spirit's way of showing you, um, truly showing you and illuminating your path to those that you need to cut off. But don't try to rush into making that happen um, because I feel that there is certain things that are happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of right now, but that will be coming out to the open. So again, keep that in mind, Gemini. I'm going to be pulling out a Oracle card here. Let's see what spirits message is in regards to the situation for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. Here we go. And we have 22. So there is decisions to be made. There is a turning point. There are options that you're going to be dealing with uh, for this month of June. You are at crossroads right now and whatever decision you make moving forward is uh, clearing or making way for a new path for you. Um, so again, be very selective of the people that you choose to be around or the people that are even bringing you this type of information. Like I said, uh, gossip is usually very low vibration, but there is a reason why um, they're going to be coming to you trying to make you take sides uh, or choose between, you know, a side. Um, and what they're telling you here is be methodical in this aspect. Um, like I said, if you have to pull your energy back, pull your energy back and let things unfold because people will show you their true colors. And if they don't, spirit will open pathways to allow you to see people's true intentions. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.